Nowadays, it's always a flip of a coin if a movie or a TV adaptation of a video game turns out good and honors the source material. On the positive side, we have gotten some good ones in the past few years, HBO's The Last of Us being the shining example, but some bad ones as well. But how did Amazon's and Jonathan Nolan's ambitious attempt at translating the popular post-apocalyptic franchise Fallout turn out? As a big Fallout fan myself, I instantly binged the first season, 8 episodes in total, so here is my take on the show. The show takes place in Los Angeles area in 2096, so 219 years after the nuclear war wiped across the world. It is the furthest we've seen the Fallout chronology get, as the games take place earlier than this, not that it matters too much. The story is an original story, but borrows quite a few plot points from the games. There were a couple of moments where I thought, oh, we are doing this again, and the tone feels similar, combining the gruesome and twisted reality of the world with absurd humor. But luckily the show does manage to create its own identity as well, mostly through seeing the world through actual characters' eyes rather than through a player insert protagonists. In the show, we follow four characters. The primary character of the show is Lucy, played by Ella Purnell, a world dweller from the World 33 who leaves the underground bunker and heads into the wasteland to get some answers. The three other main characters are Maximus, played by Aaron Moten, a member of the Militant Brotherhood of Steel, Cooper, played by Walton Goggins, a film star turned bounty hunter from the pre-bomb era who now lives as a ghoul or a mutated human. And then there is Norm, played by Moises Arias, Lucy's brother who stays at Vault 33 after his sister leaves. The three characters in the wasteland, Lucy, Maximus and Cooper, through some twists and turns, are after the same goal for different purposes, which creates an interesting dynamic every time they come across each other. Morality is grey at best in this harsh wasteland, and the characters reflect that perfectly. Lucy is too positive and naive, having lived in the safety of the walls her whole life, which contrasts with the gruesome reality of the surface world. Maximus comes from a strict military background and struggles with the balance of following orders and doing what he wants, meanwhile Cooper represents the unrestricted freedom and chaos of the wasteland. I absolutely loved Lucy and Cooper as characters. Their journey was very interesting to follow and both actors fit into the roles very well. I also really like Norm as I think he actually has some of the best character growth through the events that unravel in the vault after Lucy leaves. Unfortunately, I didn't really click with Maximus as the show kind of rushes his character growth and plot points, making some of his moments not make a lot of sense. Outside of that, the show's pace is quite different. Decent. The season is only 8 episodes long, so at points I was a bit afraid that the season wouldn't reach a satisfying ending point, but luckily I was wrong. The plot moves forward nicely, while leaving some time to flesh out the world, including the vaults and even the pre-bomb era. I usually groan when a TV show cuts to a long flashback, but Fallout handles it well. Rather than putting it all in one episode, like some other shows tend to do, they drop those scenes throughout the whole show. There are not many distinct locations in the show outside of the vaults as the characters usually keep moving from place to place. It does make the show a bit difficult to follow as they don't do a good job of representing the distances and direction between locations. It makes the setting feel like a random collection of locations rather than a real cohesive world. Luckily the show makes up for it by using classic Fallout iconography very well in bringing the world alive. All the creatures from Rad Roaches to new ones feel real and part of the environment. The ruins and the settlements are perfectly grimy while also having so much life in them through beautiful set design and great side characters. The action also has some of that game DNA in it with gruesome dismemberment and homage to the VATS slow-mo kill shots. And the attention to detail they had in bringing the vaults alive is astounding. Of course, all the products and items from Nuka Cola to steam bags to the drugs to the sugar bombs are so incredibly realized that you can't help but to smile. 
Sure, you could think that all of this is just to make Fallout fans reenact the DiCaprio pointing meme while watching the show, but I do think it's more than that. That classic iconography is what makes Fallout Fallout, at least when it comes to the modern Fallout 3 and Forward iteration of the franchise. And I think that is what separates great video game adaptations from a poor one. You can feel the impact of Bethesda in the show. It was not made in a vacuum, but with active collaboration with the developers of the game. And when you have that combined effort of people who know the games and people who know the medium the games are being adapted to, you have a recipe for success. It works for The Last of Us and it definitely worked here. I have my minor complaints about one of the main characters and the way the show keeps jumping from place to place, but overall the show does what it set out to do exceptionally well and is an easy recommendation to everyone. I'm curious to see the reception from people who haven't played the games, as you do get a lot more out of the show if you know the world and the lore, but I think the show is also quite approachable for newcomers. Thank you for watching and I hope you found the review interesting. But what about you? Do you think the show did Fallout justice? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.